Lynn's story from Fort Worth has a good story. Um, Lynn in, wasn't wealthy by any stretch of the imagination. She had a car and she began offering rides to people she met through the neighborhood app next door. Quickly, she became a lifeline for locals like April Goodwin and Kevin Horrigan Goodwin, diagnosed with ovarian cancer, needed transportation to medical appointments. While Horrigan, who's blind, relied on Stories Rise to get to work three days a week. Despite her own struggles in raising gas prices and an aging car that frequently broke down, she continued to support her community with an open heart and an open car door. Lynn's like a little angel, she really is, Horrigan said. Philadelphia, car dealer, David Kelleher was inspired by Story's dedication. It was um, a televised story on her. Um, he's the owner of David Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, is known for charitable work in his community. He heard the story and he decided to do something unforgettable. He brought her to a Fort Worth dealership saying her car would be repaired. Upon arrival, Kelleher revealed his true intent that he arranged for her to receive a brand new vehicle free of charge. The surprises didn't end there. Kelleher explained he would cover all expenses from title to tags to an extended warranty. He even promised to pay for her insurance every year so she could drive that car worry-free. Worry do you know that I can help somebody that's helping other people? I get so much out of it. Now she's going to be safe. It's going to be dependable. She's going to be able to help other people. I'm just blow away by his generosity story, he says. So there's two layers of kindness here. There's the story's kindness, where she was giving of herself not much to give just there's this other gentleman who had a lot to give who had wealth and said i'm going to help the helper so it starts well i think it's been around for a while i don't think it's starting but it's a way movement start so i hope you enjoyed today's touching positive news video. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.